Let's see how it looks. Hours before 76-year-old Shirley Fuller becomes the first person in her family to earn a four-year college degree. <laughs> God is good, Joel. She tried on her NC Central commencement regalia for us, even her fingernails done up in eagle pride. That doesn't look bad on you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> you are 76 years old. You've Lord. been through a lot. How much does this mean? It means everything to me because my children know I'm not a quitter. This great-great-grandmother has been impressing us with her resilience for years. May 2017, at age 70, earning her associate's degree from Wake Tech, one of the proudest moments of Fuller's life. Nine months later came one of the worst. An accidental fire at Fuller's Raleigh apartment building destroys her home and four others. Nothing was left. You had lost everything. I lost everything I own except one object, and that was my textbooks from Wake Tech. Everything burned except this my textbook. And I said to God, I said, there is a reason that this textbook has survived this fire. The fire delayed Fuller's plans, but she never gave up. I struggled, I grieved, I cried. I raised hell with myself when I needed to, because we don't know what steps God has for us. She struggled and recovered in life from drug addiction, depression, and sexual assault. And armed with her Singe textbook, she earned a second Wake Tech degree and was accepted to Central to study for her bachelor's in behavior and social sciences with plans to open a recovery facility for women in addiction. I want to help other women who I know have been through worse situations than I, I did. Nearing 80 years old, the woman her classmates lovingly called Grandma Shirley is not slowing down. And... What you don't know is I'm going for my master's. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma Shirley is not kidding. You, you heard that right. She plans to graduate tomorrow from NC Central and then immediately start graduate work toward a master's degree in public administration. Shirley says she's going to be working to launch her new nonprofit recovery facility and working on her master's at the same time.